what's up guys it's matt and i just wanted to get on here and do this quick little review everybody's talking about the new mortal kombat the new mortal kombat and um i just wanted to express my thoughts a little bit on it i don't know if that's anything that you guys really want to see but um yeah uh I'm, I'm not gonna really try to do any kind of spoilers or anything like that for those that haven't seen it yet um but I, I very much liked it, and I'm a fan of the original Mortal Kombat, the one that came out in the 90s. Um, for all intents and purposes, that one did um, set the foundation for everything. The sequel, ugh, we won't talk about the sequel. Uh, the sequel was the sequel that shouldn't have happened, and we all know those movies that have sequels that shouldn't have happened. Um, but yeah, as far as the remake or the remaster or the reboot, however you want to look at it, um, I did feel like it was much more of an origin story, I felt like. I felt like they explained more for people maybe that aren't in the lore uh, as much with Mortal Kombat. I, I have played Mortal Kombat since I was a kid, and but I wasn't and still am not fully, fully into the lore. I have a lot of friends that are very, very into uh, the Mortal Kombat realm and, and all the things story-wise and the side stories and all that kind of stuff. I more or less just got into it because of the video game. And then from there, I love the movie and everything like that. But the new version or the newer one that came out this year, um, I feel like it, it sets the foundation for things that maybe if you didn't know how things happened um, in the beginning of the whole um, Middle Earth, or Middle Earth's probably not the right thing to reference. That's probably like Lord of the Rings. But but the whole, the the different worlds between Earth realm and, you know, the Nether realm and everything like that, um, I feel like it explains a lot more to you as to why things happen the way they are. And maybe you know certain characters as a certain character, but you didn't know how they evolved or de-evolved, however you look at it. Um, you don't know how they got to that point. You may know the character, like say, I'm just gonna throw a character out there that's not directly focused in this film. But let's just say like, um, like Reptile. Um, and most people, if you don't know him by name, he's the green ninja with Scorpion and, and uh, Sub-Zero. But, um, you know, something like that, like you, you get to find out like how that character became Reptile. You know, you get to see the progression where Reptile is not directly featured in this new one. Um, there's little hints and, and little things uh, referenced in there, which is not a, a, a teaser or a uh, spoiler rather. But um, yeah, I just figured I'd get on here and just kind of say my thoughts on it. I definitely don't want to be somebody who spoils it for anybody. I mean, the this, this movie was very different than the original. Uh, the original does have dated technology in it, but it still it still holds a special place in my heart. I still feel like it's it's so good, and I did get the feel from this new version. Um, I did get the same same kind of like feeling, the excited feeling watching it that I did with the original. So I'm glad that they captured that. Um, once again, not a spoiler. They did leave the movie open ended, so they could potentially come back with a sequel sequel but i will say i really 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 hope if they do it's on the same scale of this movie um i did see a lot of critiques from various people you know complaining about the acting complaining about the fact that they had non-native english speaking actors speaking english in it like guys come on give them a break uh, they did an awesome job i saw some people complaining about the martial arts and it not being what they expected and all this kind of stuff. And I mean, at the end of the day, you have to suspend your sense of disbelief. You have to go into this movie wanting to be entertained. You can't go in there and nitpick it apart or you just ruin the experience. Why even, why even watch the movie if you're just literally gonna tear the movie down? The movie was very good. Um, I, I tried not to see too much of what everybody was complaining about before I saw it. Um, I. I, I thought it was good. I thought it was very well done. I thought uh, they even throw, threw little tributes in there. So if you've seen the original, there's little little inklings of things in there that, that kind of are reminiscent of the original. And um, yeah, I thought it was good. But um, let me know what you think, guys. Leave some comments below. 
Let me know what you thought. Uh, no spoilers, please. If, if you drop spoilers in there, I'm just gonna have to delete the comment. Um, just because I really can't stand people that want to ruin it for somebody else. Like, yeah, okay, we get it. You, you should have seen the original Mortal Kombat by now, but maybe some people didn't for whatever reason. Maybe they weren't born yet. Maybe they haven't gotten around to it, whatever it is. So don't ruin things for people. But um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I just wanted to get on here and just do this little quick rant um, and let you guys know my thoughts, what thoughts I did want to feature on here and didn't want to ruin anything for anybody. But uh, yeah, I'm out of here. I got to go to work. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.